It is an idea that has been around for decades, but few countries have been brave enough or perhaps stupid enough to adopt it. The idea is to scrap welfare as we know it and instead to offer every adult a basic government income. So now, step forward Finland, because the Prime Minister there wants to adopt it. Everybody will be given 800 euros a month, 600 pounds or so, to keep for themselves, uh, but they wouldn't be given anything else. It has enormous appeal, but does it work? Should we be looking at it? We'll hear from a proponent in a moment, but first, here's Duncan Weldon. Should we replace the existing system of pensions, child payments, disability allowances, housing support and all the rest with what economists call a basic income? A simple, flat, tax-free payment to all adults that comes with no obligations. That notion may now be taking a step away from the seminar room and towards reality. We've moved in Finland to start trials with the idea. Keller, the body that administers social security there, has commissioned a new study and the policy has the support, according to one poll, of 70% of all Finns. But then, who wouldn't like a tax repayment every month in return for nothing? The Finnish proposal is to abolish existing benefits and replace them with a monthly payment of 800 euros to every adult. Paying every adult that would cost about 47 billion euros a year, which is about in line with current Finnish benefit spending. Counterintuitive as it might sound, the aim is to reduce unemployment. In theory, paying people a flat rate of cash, regardless of whether they work or not, should make it easier for people to move into work. They won't lose benefits as they earn more, reducing disincentives. So what's the catch? Well, there are several, and some of them are pretty big. Any move towards a basic income would create lots of winners, amongst people who don't get much cash from the state at the moment. Basically, people in decent paying work without children. But it would create serious losers too. Disabled people, for example, who often get larger payments from the social security system to help them cope with their conditions. People with children, especially those with larger families on lower incomes, who would lose out on child benefit payments. And people who currently get support with housing costs in higher priced areas. Of course, you could try and add in circumstance-specific topper payments, but then you'd be undermining the simplicity of the system and simply adding to cost. A basic income which doesn't cut the payments to the most vulnerable would be more expensive than the current system and implies higher taxes. And that's the issue Finland will now have to face. Uh, Duncan there. Well, joining me to um, talk about basic incomes is Neil Lawson. He's the chair of the Left of Centre campaigning group Compass. He's an advocate of adopting a basic income scheme in this country. And you've got a seminar on it tomorrow. Yeah? I have. Ever. It's a live debate as far as you're concerned. Very live. Right. So just uh, apart from the fact giving away free money sounds very attractive, what, what is it that you like about the scheme? Well, firstly, our social security system is broken. It was invented in 1945 and the world's moved on from men going to factories, you know, and earning a wage and, you know, that world's gone. Um, but, but a new world is coming. Uh, a new world where technology is going to displace actually lots of jobs and there's going to be a huge productivity gain from that and unless we want food riots then we're going to have to find a way of paying people to, to spend money in the, in the supermarkets. No, all the evidence suggests that people don't do, uh, don't do nothing. Actually what they do is they, they work, they become more entrepreneurial, they volunteer, they care for people, they do a whole load of things. You see, our social security system is built on believing the worst in people and what a citizen's income does, it believes the best in people. That if you give them an economic floor and security, then they reach their full potential and that's what this is about. Right. Now let's just go through the basic problem with the basic income scheme and it, Duncan mentioned it there yeah. is if it isn't very generous yeah basically it's not very nice to people who are in hardship who can't top up by going out to work for example well there's all sorts of you know we're modeling this at the moment and actually if you swap if you swapped to some kind of citizen's income in the UK where every adult was given 75 pounds and you kept housing benefit you kept child benefit you kept you know one or two other benefits right. as, as a kind of way into it to begin to introduce it now then if we're right 75 pounds a week you're 75 saying. pounds a week yeah which is enough to be give some people you know it's not perfect 
great. It's not as much as the Finns are doing, and if the Finns are doing it, you know, why can't we? But it begins to introduce the system and it puts the floor under people. And if there are going to be huge productivity gains from new technology, which everyone's anticipating, the question is who gains from that? You know, it, does it just go to the right. tech companies or can we redistribute it through a citizen's income? But income? honestly, £75 a week doesn't sound like a good enough wage. I wouldn't have thought for you, someone of the left, would think that's a good enough no, wage. No, I don't think... I a person who can't top it up. No. And as soon as you start topping it up with a disability premium and you've got child benefit already in there, which the, I believe Finland isn't proposing to do, then you've made it all complicated. You've just reinvented universal credit no. with a, a lower withdrawal. No, what, what you're doing, you're, you're treating everyone as a citizen and giving them worth. You're giving them some kind of floor under their feet. And what the evidence suggests that when you start giving people something like £75 a week, they start um, uh, the, the unemployed move into employment. Those who are taking very poorly paid jobs refuse poorly paid jobs and go for better paid jobs. So it, it, it helps all round. You get rid of the, the complicated benefit system, the humiliation of means testing. Right. You, However, you've got rid of means testing and the humiliation. But in order to pay to give me £75 a week, mm. you've got to put up everybody's tax rate There's in order to find all those £75, right? So. You've given everybody a lump sum each week, but the tax, the basic income tax rate has to go up very substantially. No, it doesn't have to go up substantially. It, has, it, it can go up a bit. But look, every time we introduce something radically different and transformative, the NHS, you know, the, the minimum wage, the, the social security system itself originally, everyone says it's not possible, right? Well, it's Government, possible. It, 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 it's, it's, it's absolutely it possible. possible. And, Finland, it's just, it's and, and Finland are showing it's, it's possible. You know, and, and if this technology thing is happening, and if jobs are going to be displaced, then we have to find a way to pay people. There is no way out of this. And it's, and it's why people on the left, like me, are supporting it, but it's also why people across the political spectrum, from the RSA to the Adam Smith Institute, to all sorts of economists, and, and more than anything technologists arriving at citizens income as the policy issue of, of the 21st century just answer me this Neil if Finland who considering it now if they look at it back away and say this isn't gonna work will it change your mind well, everywhere it's happened, everywhere it's been tried, it's moved people into being productive and it's helped people reach their potential and, and fulfil their potential. If it can do that, then it's a policy we ought to be looking at. Neil Lawson, thanks very much indeed.